Well, I hope you're doing well today, and I hope you're enjoying this fall weather. We've had some gorgeous days and just opportunities to see the glory of God on grand display. But when the leaves start turning like this, it's also a sign for people at Faith that Stewardship Month is coming. And I'm really looking forward to, to kicking off Stewardship Month for us at all of our campuses this coming Sunday. We've decided this year to go back to the very basics, to look at each one of the four principles of stewardship and devote each one of the next four Sundays to looking at each one individually. So uh, this Sunday we're going to be talking about our God who owns everything. I want to encourage you to look at 1 Chronicles chapter 29. It's a marvelous passage in the Word of God where King David, um, just prior to the end of his life, has the opportunity to, to work with the people to raise all sorts of materials that are going to be used by his son Solomon in the construction of the temple. And it's amazing how generous God's people are. And David has an opportunity to direct everybody's attention back to our God who made that possible. It, also, though, there's a number of other verses throughout the Word of God that, that talk about how the Lord owns everything. And so we're going to be also sprinkling those additional passages into the message. And if you're in the habit of writing verses of Scripture down on index cards just to review them, there's going to be a lot of them in this particular message that help us hone in on that matter of how God owns everything. It's a really important beginning to Stewardship Month, so I hope you're going to be with us. I also want to encourage you, would you be on the lookout for someone who might be new at any one of our campuses? We've been having visitors week after week after week. That's such a blessing from the Lord. And when you think about some of the outreach ministries that are happening right now with our trunk or treats this weekend, and then as we move into some of our Christmas ministries, we're certainly hoping and praying that God will bring more and more men and women, maybe people who don't yet know the Lord, to our church services. And you know, a friendly face, someone who greets them, that might be one of the connection points that the Lord uses to draw that person to the Lord. Or I had another conversation with someone this week who said, you know, since COVID, we've just been out of church and we know we need to get back. Well, thank the Lord for someone who would allow God to work in their heart and life like that. Well, what kind of reception do we want such a person to have when they come into the church house? And the answer is people who love them people who are friendly, people who are looking for someone else with whom we can uh, grow in our love for Christ together. So please be uh, researching and reviewing 1 Chronicles chapter 29 and be praying that God would use this message in each one of our hearts and lives.